Oh wow, re-release SBC, oh wow. Oh, so is there no swap today? Oh no, there is a swaps today. Oh shit, boys. Oh shit. What do we what do we go first? Alright. Icon swap two video. Right now. Okay. Live. Let's see what's here. Basic stuff, basic. Oh wow, they re-released the screen owner. Oh wow, EA. Oh wow! Okay, 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 EA, I can get down with this. I always love a re-release SBC. That's crazy, because now if they release that Paulinho, I might do it. I would never, I would never touch that Mascarano, though. Alright, so it looks like it's just the Mascarano and the Milner for now. So Bobby Moore, five tokens. I think this is a mid-tier icon. I believe his mid-tier. I believe great stats. Um, I think he's too slow for this game and the height. Not really a fan. But for five tokens, great. Rye card for five tokens. <sighs> if his balance was sixty, I would say this dude could be a dominant DM. Cause you can't like he's bulky as hell, height has all that shit, but at the same time you're not like balance is too low, not usable. Herrero, not usable. Same thing. Vandasar. I mean, for six tokens though, it's pretty cheap. Okay, Raul for ten tokens, mid tier, good card. Uh, yeah, it's it's a really good card. Like. He's somebody that you might pair with someone if you're trying to get two swap cards. Like, you go for a value and you want to get two cards. He's a good card. It's just, by the time you'll be able to unlock him, depending on how many tokens there are, I don't know how many. I'm going to have to check the objectives to see how many tokens are for this season because this season's almost done already. That's 10 tokens. 77, there's 77 days remaining to do it. So, like, if you think about it, like, that's two, three months from now, you could get a... a a better you could get a gold version of this essentially like this is essentially a, a, a Hunming song and he he's probably cheaper then you can trade him in center back okay okay now no oh, you fucked him with high medium you fucked him with high medium Jesus Christ I might play this dude this dude might be a DM or a midfielder like these card stats are absurd and then he's only 8 tokens. No, 10 tokens. My bad. Wow. Mid-tier Coleman. Wow. I don't know. You see, he's somebody I might do now. Because. Wow. I would literally go 5 back and play him as the other DM in my team. And he gets a link to De Jong. I would play him and De Jong together. Because he's high medium already. Yeah, this Coleman card right now, fam. This card is legit as shit. Wow. Seedorf. Is this, is this baby Seedorf? This is baby. Baby Seedorf for this time of the year, not worth it. 10 tokens for a baby icon, not worth it. Perez, you know the deal with him. Maybe this FIFA, he'll be great because agility. Like, if you put a sniper on him. He should be good because dribbling supposedly mean things. That's the number one stat in this card, but who knows. Okay. Now we're, get okay. Ooh, now we're getting serious. Now we're getting serious. Now we're getting serious. Okay, first of all, Socrates. This is gonna... Oh, man. Oh, man. Hold on, my boy texted me right now. Let me put that on Do Not Disturb. This shit. You see, now you get to a point where value comes into play. Because this 87 Socrates, from a fun standpoint, from like Brazil icon, most people don't get the chance to use icons at all, much less a Brazil icon. 
Six four Cam. Only only bad stat on this card is that balance and agility, and that's probably what's going to steer me away from it. But and and the fact that by the time you could probably unlock him, you'd have enough coins to buy his regular. I'm sure his regular is about to go down now that he's in he's in uh, packs. This card right here, I'm about to do. I think right backs and center backs. This this Zambrata is. I don't know if this is his baby version. I don't know if this is mid. I'm not too sure. This Zambrata is legit as fuck. I made the mistake last swaps, and I didn't choose Roberto Carlos, and I should have over... Oh, my God. Oh, wow. They they put a mid-Figo in here? You see, EA was... EA... I, I fuck with this, EA. I fuck... I fuck with this, EA. We got a mid. I don't even know how many how many tokens you get in general. Mid Figo, and the reason why he means a lot to me is because I already have Ronaldo, and you put a sniper on him, Don Daddy. My dude's already got the stamina to handle a whole game. Ninety overall, dude's there to play. Mid tier Soul Campbell. Again, you can get that. You can get that out of some special informs, high raid goal center backs. You can get that, Soul Campbell. I'm not even looking at it. 14 tokens, way too much. Lineker. Now, this is a guy who he's going to be good. Like, he's going to be good. Doesn't really have the skill moves, but when you have that many 90s in attacking stats, like, he's going to be great, high, low. It's just, like I said again, do you want to drop this many tokens for somebody who has three star skills? considering like you'll be able to get Neymar by the time you can get this many tokens and Neymar's five star five star baby Blanc yeah yeah baby Blanc baby Blanc again probably top five DM on the game every year top five DM on the game like you can't teach six four medium high the stats are where they need to be He's really a cam, so literally put a put a fucking sentinel on him and call it a day, and he's dominant DM. So you can't go wrong with him. Uh, he's self-explanatory. Don't have to say much. Mid icon player pack. Not even gonna risk it. Prime. This is a prime. This is a prime. 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 Luis Hernandez. I have his baby. Ugh. It's a prime card. I'll give you that. It's fucking beautiful. I don't think that's worth 19 tokens, personally. At the same time, shout out to EA for dropping a prime. If he was 4 star, 4 star, I would say he's worth the tokens, but he's not. And that weak foot, unless it's like a Griezmann or somebody like that, the weak foot is, eh. Barnes is somebody, okay. You see, now, yeah, yeah, I would do this, Barnes. I would do this, Barnes. If you don't have a good attacker up front and you need to do one, I would do that, Barnes. I think he's worth those 19 tokens. That's his prime version, if I'm not. Because he has the cam, then he has the left wing 87. So, yeah, this is the prime version. I think every card after this uh, Luis Hernandez is prime. He's legit as fuck. So, I would probably do... If you have no attackers up front and you're an English fan, go ahead and do the Barnes. Have a good time. Delpy... I don't know if this is his prime. But he has five star. Again, another card. You can't go wrong. If you need an attacker, you double. Ooh, my guy. Oh, my guy. Oh, my guy. This is my favorite player of all time, guys. Ronaldinho. Favorite player of all time. I fucking love him. Literally... What breaks my heart to this day is that when he was moving from PSG, Madrid, United, and Barca all put in bids. United and Madrid put in the same bid. He chose United. Barca came in and bid 10 mil more. He ended up going to Barca and gave us problems. I'm, I'm a Madrid fan at heart, but watching Ronaldinho is probably like the most fun I've ever had watching a player. Like The dude's sick. Yes, this is his baby. 21 tokens is probably absolutely correct the card stats are beautiful you can even get away with the stamina medium low but it's four star five star like if you're looking at base value you probably shouldn't do it 
if you're looking at overall just fan aspect, do the card and love life. He's not going to go wrong if you do do him. That's the beautiful thing about it. But And then you got, you see, you see EA, EA, EA Sports. They put a baby Vieira. If this was mid Vieira, I would do it, but because it's a baby, I'm not going to. Because that's unreal. You can't put a baby card as the number one card. Like, I get it. It's Vieira. Prime SCN. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this guy's worth the tokens. Prime SCN. Yeah. Box to box mid. Hold it down for the game. He's in your team the whole year. However, I don't think I'm going to touch that Vieira. So now... So Vieira, Ronaldinho, SCN are like all 21 tokens and above. Now you now you come into the game of me personally. I do icons based off of value, so I always want to get like at least two. You also have to look at uh, run the foot market. Touched on this yesterday, but you're gonna have to look at um when you're you could. I mean, let's check right now what Ronaldinho because Ronaldinho's base was a million coins uh, yesterday, over a mil yesterday. I wonder what it is now that people know he's gonna be in swaps. Still one, yeah, he's still high, 1.1. So it doesn't look like he's going to be dropping anytime soon. But let's, all right, let's go to the objectives. This is this is what's going to make things serious. So icon swaps are, oh, so you can only get six tokens this season. So you need squad battle matches with six Liga MX and five on a world. Oh my God, this is going to be hard. Six squad battle matches, 11 Saudi, not bad. Six squad battle matches with on legendary using eleven Italian players. Okay, so right then and there, rival matches eleven English players. Nine first own La Liga. Nine first own Bundesliga. Yeah, these are gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be really hard. Fuck. EA just basically made you have to buy packs unless you have these cards. Like, you better pray you have nine. Like, people, I, at this point, I might as well relegate myself. I'm in D2 right now. Um, nine first own is absurd. Like, nine. That means, like, you even have to have the, you have to, you only have two people. And that's, like, you better hope you have a left back, right back, and you better hope you have a fucking keeper, and then the rest has to be untradeable. You're about to see some fucking wild squads. You're going to see fucking people that have top-tier icons and then literally, like, a 70 silver in their squad. I know people who play this game who don't even have, like, half of this shit. Like, they've been literally milking you with SBCs so we all get rid of the cards. And now with these swaps, and then this shit right here, this isn't that bad. I mean, this is, at, like, okay, yeah, this is pretty bad. Like, world class, it's not hard, but when you have to use these set players, it can be difficult. Saudi players are about to go through the roof. Like, whatever the best Saudi player is, I'll literally buy a bunch of him right now. He's about to shoot the fuck up. And then a, squad battles matches, legendary using 11 Italian players. Wow. You only get six tokens. You have to, You have two weeks... You have two weeks to get these done, fam. Because there's only six tokens and there's 14 days. I don't know, EA. This is a lot of work. Like, you basically... Oh, my God. That's a lot of work. This is going to shift the market... I'm really about to search Italian left backs and right backs. Because I guarantee you they're all going to go up. I'm going to buy him. Wow, he's already gone. Oh, you see? Welcome to the sniping filter, gentlemen. All these cards are going to go up. All these cards are going to go extinct. EA Sports. Y'all did it again. Wow. They're already up to 1,800. 
This is a car you could have got on open bid for cheap as fuck, boys. Cheap as fuck. I'm literally just gonna put it on on the on the pile. I actually think I need him in my club. All right, I need to sell. I'm just gonna sell all this stuff just to get it out. I don't know, man. I mean, these swaps are hard. Definitely, if you want to trade and make coins, you can use the requirements as a way to like snipe cards because I'm assuming people are going to be opening packs. Tomorrow there's going to be another promo out. Great time to make make a fuck ton of coin tomorrow when they drop the promo. But this is going to be work. Like this is not going to be. Yes, they gave out a lot of a lot of good cards, but this is going to be work. Like you might, you might seriously have to consider. Damn. Oh, I, I don't even know right now, man. Like you're gonna have to consider. I'm just trying to. I, I don't even. Know. You're gonna have to consider only doing one card and only, cause you. I don't know if you're gonna be able to get all the tokens. Like, there's two weeks to get six tokens, and, like, we'll go and do the math quick before we try to get some of these cards on bid. Let's do this fucking math quick. So you have to win four rivals matches with nine first on Bundesligas. Four rivals matches with nine first on La Liga. So that's eight rivals games right there. If you're in a high division... You like it's people won't even be able to make these squads because they have to be first owned. So it's like you have to pack them or you have to do that SBC. Like you can't you can't run with somebody who you go and buy on the market to throw coins. And then this one, eleven English players is gonna be a fucking shit show. Oh, but this is this this one's way easier though. Four must be first owned. Never mind. That's light cheese. That's light cheese. But people like Basaka and Gomez are about to go shoot like Basaka and Gomez are gonna shoot up through the thing that's honestly that's who I'm about to buy right now I'm about to buy every Joe Gomez there is right now or at least any of them that I could get for the low you could just not like, you could all these Italian cards are about to go man oh my god that's so crazy bro Defender. Can't even snipe them. Can't even snipe them. They're going like fucking hotcakes. Is uh, I'm after. I'm I'm literally about to keep him in my club because I don't think I have one. Is a Caldara. Ah. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this up for one seven for three hours and see if we have luck. Oh, uh, this is literally all I'm about to be doing right now, boys. This fucking trading, trading fucking gold center back cards. I need to look at the fucking defender England. Yep, already gone. So you need to look at all, this is rivals, people are going to have to, I'm trying to think of somebody that's going to be usable. All these cards already bought. That is fucking nuts. Cahill, oh my god. Well, I'm just, I'm about to do some sniping. I'm going to show you guys the next video, like any success I've had, but like this is going to be a rough promo. Like, this is going to be a really rough promo for a lot of people. I don't know how. I don't know how you guys are going to feel about it. You guys can let me know. I pro it's probably easier to get these niggas on bid, right? Sorry sorry for cussing. I didn't mean to cuss. But, yeah. It's going to be that. I'm just going to bid on a bunch of these cards. Hopefully win them. This is going to be the end of this video. My next video is going to be my... Rewards packs that I've saved for tomorrow because we're supposed to get another set of Road to the Final cards tomorrow as the new Friday promo. 
So I'm literally waiting. I'm keeping all my packs and shit for that stuff tomorrow. Hopefully I pack stuff I can use. Because truthfully, boys, like this shit is fucked. Like I don't know. I don't know what people are going to do. I think I actually have like a Harry Maguire that's untradeable. That I might have to use in a game. I'm literally about to stockpile all these cards. I would literally buy a fuck ton of Joe Gomez's. That's really what I'm going to do. But hopefully you all enjoyed this swap video. I kind of gave my perspective on it. I'd love to hear your guys' perspective. I don't know. I was ha hype when I saw what the cards were. At the same time, I know for a fact. Over 70% of the community, unless you're like a gold player every week on FIFA consistently, like you're not going to be able to get this done. Um, it'll take a lot of grinding on rivals, but you potentially might have to skip weekend league because there's only 14 days. So like if you work and if you work five days a week, shit, I don't know how you get this done and play weekend league if you have an everyday job. Like, I really don't, because it's going to be difficult to begin with, and now you're in a situation where you need, like, first own cards. So, one, you might have to sit there and say, I need to buy packs to have a chance to even be able to complete these challenges, because if you're somebody who just trades everything and doesn't buy packs at all, and you have just, like, your one team and then no other cards in the club, like, you're fucked for this. Like, there's no way you're going to be able to do it. Like, there's no way within the next two weeks you can essentially... My controller just died. There's no way in the next two weeks if you're somebody who doesn't have anything in their club, a.k.a. someone who, like, just got the game for Christmas, there's no way unless you drop 150 on, like, gold premium packs and pack a bunch of people you can use in teams, there is no way that you'll be able to get, half, like, at least six of these tokens done. So, I don't know... I don't know if EA, if that's why EA was just so generous with letting, letting people, like, the, maybe that's why EA was generous with uh, how low some of the icons are, like that Zambrata, how he's like 14, 13 tokens, maybe that's why they felt like that, because they knew that people would literally only be able to do one, I don't know, it, I'm not entirely sure, people are saying that you can get 30 tokens in general, so that would be like, if you did that Vieira for 24, you could do another one for 6, there's a lot of good ones in there to where doing a two for one is the smart deal to do, and that's what I'm gonna do. But at the same time, it's gonna be damn near impossible. So I'm gonna figure out why my controller just died, and then hopefully get bid on like get a bunch of these Gomez's on bid, and then hopefully, damn, he's going up, up, up. Yeah, so I'm about to just bid on a bunch of these Gomez's, trade them. I'll, I'll let you guys know tomorrow what my luck was with trading these cards. A bunch of good timing filters right now if y'all want to look. But hopefully y'all enjoyed the video and y'all let me know what y'all think of this, man. Because I truthfully don't know. Right. So I'll see y'all in the next video.